guys, Kelsey here again. Welcome back to my channel. It's always nice to have you back. Today I'm in my usual setting and I'm not joined by my sister, but she will be in other videos. So never fear, she will return for sure. I know a lot of people um, enjoyed the video with her. I got a lot of positive feedback on it. So she will be returning. Today I wanted to talk about another topic that isn't talked about all that often or isn't necessarily that popular of a topic because it's it's a pretty sensitive issue for a lot of people but I want to discuss it today and that is being single and why it's difficult to be single. So I just want to start off by saying that our society is very obsessed with being in relationships. Every single movie you watch, the hero and heroine always fall in love at the end. Every single song on the radio, it's a love song or it's about a relationship falling apart or what have you. Books, you know, romance novels, erotica novels are huge now. Even movies that celebrate being single, like that movie How to Be Single, no one was single in that movie. One of them ended up getting married, the other one, her whole character was defined by her relationships with her ex, you know, or relationships with new men that came into her life. No one was truly single, like that movie wasn't about being single, that movie was about couples in an inadvertent way. You're just inundated all the time by couples and by relationships. You see couples all the time walking around holding hands. You know like when couples like hold hands and walk down the street and then you're like just trying to fucking walk and you have to like move out of their way and you're just like Jesus Christ can I walk on this damn sidewalk without having to freaking swerve out of your damn lane? When I was in Paris it's the city of love and the city of romance and I was there with my sister and everywhere you looked there were couples holding hands and just there, I don't know what it is, but there was just so many like good looking people and like good looking couples. Like they looked like they were right out of a Ralph Lauren catalog. And I had a breakdown by the end of the trip because I was like, what's with all these bloody couples? Me and my sister, we were at a restaurant and she fucking left my ass there. She's like, you're crazy, I'm out. And she left me because I, I had a bit of a breakdown because at that time I, I did want a relationship. When you're single and if you really want a relationship, sometimes you feel very out of the loop and you feel very outside of all that you feel like you can't relate let's say you and your group of friends is single and then they start branching off into couples and they start having relationships a lot of the times you feel like you can't really relate to them on the same level anymore and that's not all the time but um, a lot of the times you know they have new priorities in their life and sometimes Sometimes you don't share those priorities and it's it's definitely difficult there's always at that family party that one annoying aunt who's like Kelsey why aren't you married are you seeing anyone you're at a family wedding are you next Kelsey no so it's you're always constantly being bombarded by I guess the the couplification or the coupling of society I like to call it. Even on the other side of the coin, let's say you don't necessarily want a relationship and that's not something that you want right now in your life or even down the road. Instead of being hurt and feeling lonely because you want it so bad, when you don't want it, you still feel alienated because people look at you like you're abnormal. So you don't really fit in with that neat cookie cutter vision that other people might have or you know a lot of times people don't believe you if you say oh I'm, I'm enjoying being by myself I I'm not really looking for something like that in the near future I, I want to work on myself and my career they'll think you're just kind of saying that as a defense mechanism or that you're just saying that because you're hiding your loneliness people question your motives for not wanting a relationship. Couples are systemically ingrained in society. It's almost hard to get anywhere if you're not in a couple these days. And I'll just speak for 
women and not necessarily men just because I'm a woman so I know my own experiences if you're a single woman it's difficult to get a mortgage even if you have let's say a healthy down payment it is still difficult to get a mortgage it's difficult to afford anything these days on one single income let's say you're a bit older and you want to adopt a child or have a child on your own through in vitro etc it's difficult to be able to adopt because of your income once again and there's a lot more paperwork involved if you're not a couple with a healthy income something like in vitro it's really expensive and it's not guaranteed and so it's difficult to have a child on your own it's difficult to just live everyday life the cost of living it's not getting any lower it keeps going up and up and our wages stay the same which is definitely another topic for another video so it's it's just hard to live your day-to-day -day life it's hard to afford groceries it's hard to afford rent it's it's definitely difficult if you are on your own to achieve all those things so there's definitely a systemic I guess bias towards couples it's just easier for them to make it in the world and just have a successful life you know have the house have the kids have all that and live more comfortably even when you go to to restaurants and there's there's the two can dine menus or the date night menus it's like can I sit down in this damn restaurant without being reminded that I'm single no I'm not getting the damn two can dine because it's just me <laughs> and there's even the fear you always think oh my god like when I grow old what if I I never get married or I never meet anybody or never have kids when when I grow old who's gonna look after me am I just gonna be you know one of those seniors in a home who's mistreated and has no visitors and you know even like that fear is ingrained in, in us this isn't a new thing you know it's not today's society that puts such an emphasis on the couple it has been throughout history in in archaic prehistoric cavemen days you know you had the men who would go out and do the hunting then you had the women who would rear the children and they would gather so there was always these defined roles within the tribe or within the household men and women had to share the burden even like in 17th 18th 19th century there were arranged marriages you know marriages were seen as a business transaction and there was always a focus on being in that couple if if you were let's say 25 and you were single in the 1800s like you were considered an old maid and you were almost uh, ostracized from society for it you were just seen as a pariah even the term today when you think of spinster I hate that term because it, it just has I feel like it just has so many negative connotations to it if I ever become a spinster like I'm gonna be a motherfucking spin star okay I'm a motherfucking spinster but I'm gonna be a motherfucking star as well it's difficult when you are a single female in today's society you know people make jokes like oh you better go down to the shelter and get your 52 cats I already have a predilection towards cats like I love cats and I'm obsessed with cats shit like I feel like I'm on my way to becoming that crazy cat lady is my cat in the can go okay look at my cat he's so cute look at him hi <laughs> shoot I just fucked that up if my cat gets in the frame um because he's right beside me just ignore him even though he's so cute it's impossible I don't know like if you're a single woman past a certain age it's like you're walking around with fucking bolts in your neck like Frankenstein's monster when you're young and single you know it's accepted and people think oh she's young she's single she's living life good for her for men too like good for them you know they're playboys it's accepted but once you pass a certain age it people they almost pity you and I, I don't know if 
if this is kind of my own my own bias in my mind like maybe I have insecurities about it or maybe I have like anxieties or, or fears that that will be me one day I don't know maybe this isn't how everything is but I mean even with these shows like Sex and the City and, and Bridget Jones's Diary movies like that they, they joke about it too so I feel like it is kind of an insecurity that a lot of women have. I like things like that because it, it brings the issue to the forefront and to the mainstream and it makes single people um, past a certain age feel okay and, and they don't feel so abnormal and they don't feel so different and apart from society. And everybody judges you for what you do with your body. Let's say you're single and you're making the most of it, you're having fun and you, you don't want any strings attached and you're just sleeping with who you want, when you want, and you're just very sexually liberated. You know, people will judge you and they'll think that you're a hoe or, or that you're a loose woman and they just they'll judge you for that and when it's past a certain age they'll think, oh it's so sad that she's I don't know, I'm just going to pick just an arbitrary age off the top of my head. 34. Oh, it's sad that she's 34 and she's still sleeping around. Who, do, who does she think she is? Doesn't she want a husband? As you can tell, she's just sleeping around to fill the void in her life. But if you're around that age or even younger, or even older, like I said, that's an arbitrary age and you're not sleeping around, you know, people think, oh, she's a spinster prude. You know, she's got fucking cobwebs webbed across her vagina. So it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't when you're single. If you're single and you want to enjoy life and sleep around you're labeled a certain way but if you're single and you don't want to sleep around and that's just not something that interests you you're also labeled a certain way when you're single you have a barrage of opinions being flung at you and it's it's hard it's easy to judge single people so yeah just to conclude it's it's difficult being single when you have all these things rammed down your throat you need to be part of a couple to buy a house, to have a child biologically and even not biologically when you want to adopt a child. Even your family, like there are f familial, f familial pressures as well. You know, your your parents, where, where are my grandchildren? I want to have grandchildren. It's just, there are a lot of pressures on single people these days and it's like, where is there a safe haven for single people? And that's, that's really the question I want to ask. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Once again, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.